I got a history lesson for you. Here it comes on September 9th, 1850. That would be 167 years ago. California became a state. And back then, the people had uh, no electricity. The state had no money. And almost everyone spoke Spanish. And there were gunfights in the streets. So basically, nothing's changed except... Women have Botox in their faces, and the men, a lot of them, are holding hands. Other than that, everything's kind of like it used to be. Hey, I was in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada recently. Have a look at these photos, and it came to me uh, that, that even though I've seen these little baskets everywhere, it kind of came to me that what a waste. I mean, in the U.S., at least, you can take a little suitcase and you put it on the security thing, and it goes through the other thing. And, and if you have small things that, that might fall out, you put them in a basket. But in Canada, and again, it kind of came to me when I was in Edmonton, and uh, you have to put everything in a basket. And, and so then the people that work there, they take all the empty baskets, pick them up and haul them back, and then people put stuff in them again. It's kind of like, you know, at a mental asylum. I, I remember years ago, I saw a guy who was carrying a wheelbarrow upside down. I said, what are you doing? You have it upside down. He said, no, no, if I put it the other way, they put rocks in it. I mean, that's kind of the reverse of this. I mean, it, it's a job that they're doing that doesn't need to be done. That's a liberalism. It's activity. It's not about achievement. Kind of made me wonder, what the heck is going on because it is a little vaccine when you spend all that time doing things that don't need to be done here's a letter that a viewer sent us in it's a kind of a semi joke or we'll hope it is at least it's kind of cute i want to share with you dear son i'm writing this slow because i know you can't read very fast he was a liberal and she was a socialist so you kind of bring it all together and you'll understand we don't live where we did when you left your dad read in the paper that most car accidents happen within 20 miles from home so we moved I can't send you the address as the last family that lived here took the numbers with them for their next house so they wouldn't have to change their address. This place has a washing machine, but the first day I put four shirts in it, I pulled the chain and I haven't seen them since. It rained here twice last week, three days the first time and four days the second time. About that coat you wanted me to send you, Aunt Sue said that it would be a little too heavy to send in the mail with those big heavy buttons on them, so I cut them off and I put them in the pockets. We got a bill from the funeral home and it said that we didn't make the past payment due on grandpa's funeral and so up she comes about your sister she had a baby this morning i haven't found out whether it's a boy or a girl so i don't know if you were an aunt or an uncle your uncle john fell into the whiskey vats some men tried to pull them out but he fought them off and he drowned we cremated him and he burned for three days there's all kinds of neat stuff like that and it made me think about the country that we're in these days because it's pretty mixed up hey let me end this with this that's a factual little thing that means nothing to you but i want to share it with you anyway there are more than two million individuals individual farms left in America today, working a billion acres for an average farm size of 500 acres. And there are politicians who say, hey, stop that. Let's bring all the vegetables and everything in from China or someplace else and make these people not have a job. And uh, President Trump is looking at that now, apparently, and he's saying, hey, let's have more farms. We used to have lots of farms and we don't have as many. But a billion acres sounds rather intimidating. But you know what? You need more than that to feed the people you got. And you got the land, you got the technology, you got it all in. You got people sitting at home not working anymore they should all be farmers hey you all come back here tomorrow we're gonna more for you from the right see ya